Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm Gabriel, a fitness coach over 10 years of experience. And now that I got your attention, because I know you see the title and you're like, you know, looking forward to know all this crazy diet that I'm going to reveal to you. Um, but I'm sorry to break it down f for you. I mean, I know you were expecting a magic pill, something to, you know, lose that way the quickest possible. But now that I, you, I got your attention, please stay because you're going to end up with something better than you were looking for. Because you were probably looking for something that you can, you know, quickly that gets you results. That's what everyone wants. It, and you can have it. I'm not going to lie. You can have those type of diets. Yeah. Um, but I don't believe in them. And the main reason why is because they're not sustainable. Okay. But. Before we get into detail, yeah, of how on this crazy challenge that I'm advertising, yeah, it's not a challenge though, so I'm um, no spoilers. I'm uh, sorry to break it down for you in the first minute of the video, but it's not a challenge, but it will be better than that, yeah. So, but before we, you know, before I show you this diet, I want to like go from the basic, yeah, so you understand, like why these diets don't work this is like a big beef towards those 30 days challenge weight loss transformation whatever this is this, this video is about that okay but i'm not gonna just leave you with you know um yeah if she don't do that i'm actually gonna give you the tools so you can do your own yeah but for, before we're gonna start with like what calories are yeah it's all about calories yeah and all these crazy diets that you see out there they just have something in common, it's just calories. Even though they play around with like macronutrients for like keto, like the biggest, you know, f fail, I would say. I don't even know how to call it. It's just eliminated water from you and then making you appear leaner. And then like, it's just less water. Like in theory, when keto happens, like in the first two to four weeks, it's just water retention, that's all. See? So... So let's understand calories first. The calories is the energy that con like the energy to contain in a food, yeah? Okay? So to lose weight, you just have to consume less calories. That's all. Because it's energy. Okay, and it happens. No matter what that you go for. It is true that's like insulin levels related, like when you know you consume more sugar, carbohydrates, you can get a little bit hungrier. That's the only reason why I would say keto could be handy, but not like the optimal, you know, diet. Okay. Um, now the calories are super important. Okay. For basic functions, which is like BMR, metabolic rate. Okay. And, and physical activities. You need it. You need it. Like for sure. And then if you combine both, you can set up a really, really good weight loss phase. Okay. But now, let's break it let's let's start with like why do these challenge fails what does the 30 day like paleo keto crazy diet fish popcorn diet i don't know i've heard so many diets to be honest and why do they fail like why you know it's because they're extreme and re restrictions in life is hard i respect for instance like vegans when they do it for like spiritual reasons or you know or for because of they love animal that's absolutely fine but any restrictions in life is tough you know like let's be honest like you go out there and then like you know go to a restaurant or whatever and then oh you were your friends and then everybody's like just say i went i had dinner with my friends they made lasagna you know and beef and everything and uh, to be fair it was quite like high calorie lasagna like made of like you know it had like cheese and everything and but I'm not going to say, like, no, I'm not going to have it because I'm going to die or something, you know what I mean? Or, I mean, again, if you're vegan, it's heavy. People nowadays will respect that. Um, which, oh, it doesn't, that's another video. People who are, like, vegan, they're not vegan. Most of the people, there are some people who go vegan to lose weight, but it's a bit like, mm, why? But if it's because you love animals and for spiritual reasons, I respect it. Otherwise, it's like, oh, what health? Some people, to be honest, um, uh, you can you can literally fight cancer by you know 
or having like a, a vegan diet, plant-based diet, it's really, really good. Um, I'm not the one to like talk about that topic that well, but my mom, a nutritionist, by the way, she can explain it a lot better. And then let me know if you're interested into that, because I'll bring it to the channel again. <laughs> Oh, we go video. We go videos together, to be honest. So yeah, and frustration. Yeah, it's, it's restriction and frustration. It's it's just too hard. Yeah, and especially if you're an adult, you are not used to like, you know, this type of restrictions. When if you grow up with that, that's absolutely fine. You know, if you grow up without sweets, you might be able to be alright later. But making remember at the end of the day, this is a lifestyle and habits. Eating like physical activities is a habit. And any like any habit in life, it takes time to like build it up. It's not easy. It's not like you get up and I say, okay, I'm just gonna like meditate every morning. It's gonna be hard. Like if you do like, okay, I'm gonna get up four in the morning and then like meditate and then an hour meditation. It's not gonna work for you. You have to like, okay, you start, you know, waking up a little bit earlier, like seven o'clock, and then like five minutes of meditation, and you start building it up. That's a habit. Okay, so. And then another reason why do they fail this um, magic diet is because a rapid weight loss is usually water loss, like I was planning at the beginning of the video. Not just because of keto, like any other diet, even when you're consuming carbohydrates, you might retain a little bit of liquid on your muscles because they need to. Um, but uh, it's usually, uh, yeah, usually water loss if it goes super, super, super quickly. You do appear to be leaner, but. Um, but yeah, fat's still there. Um, now, another reason why they don't work is because your metabolism slowed down like drastically, which is making it even harder to lose weight, guys. So actually, you're like like making it worse. To be honest, you, if you're watching this video, you might find that you've tried like, so many days, you even get worse and worse and worse. So what's normally happening, and I'm not a magician, but let me guess, you start a diet, uh, this crazy 30 day challenge, and then you lose so much weight the first two weeks, and it's like, oh, amazing, then you couldn't complete the challenge, and you just like, you know, went mental, like crazy, binge and everything. And you gain double the amount of weight, so you go even, you know, you go even fatter. Because what you're doing right now is just messing up with your metabolism keep changing in these drastic and horrible diets would just like decrease the metabolism you probably heard of like you know you when you like on a weight loss diet you lose weight lose weight boom then increase a little bit not crazy because you're going to keep slowing down your metabolism right increase your calorie intake then break it and then down again and that's what you do and that's how you keep you know accelerating that metabolism because it's super important. May, the main reason actually why people gain weight nowadays is due to metabolism as well. Um, obviously calorie intake, but uh, you'd be impressed of what I've seen like, you know, people don't really have such a cal like high calorie intake, people who consume like 2,800 and then like obese, okay? And that's usually due to the metabolism. So there's a lot low metabolism, metabolism metabolism problems nowadays <laughs> um and then and then yeah another reason the last reason okay guys to, before we start talking about um the main and the main topic like the main diet the reason why you click us on, on this video because I, I i put like 30 day challenge or whatever honestly it's just it's your whole life challenge <laughs> okay it's a diet that you want to maintain it's a diet that works for you okay so um yeah the, the last reason is just like it leads to like nutrition deficiency yeah uh, when you do this crazy diets usually involved to like eliminating one of the macronutrients like carbohydrates or fats or whatever or even decreasing protein i've seen some crazy stuff you know like the popcorn diet like i said <laughs> and it's not not great not great and it's going to lead to like again reducing your slowing down your metabolism and possibly like health um, problems so you don't want to do that okay now let's start with our diet yeah and then we need to understand like how deficit calorie works okay and then again it's not about macronutrients you don't have to like dramatically decrease your fat or dramatically decrease your 
carbohydrates. You want to do, you want to set up a diet that can work for you. So if you are not hungry when you decrease your carbohydrates, then okay, maybe start there. Or the opposite, maybe fat. Okay, so you you play around with those two macronutrients mainly. You got to reduce some of them, even protein, you know, and also like understanding your right protein intake is super important. People use that one gram of uh, pound of body weight and it's a really good strategy, but that doesn't, it's not for everyone, okay? It's also the depend of your physical activity, and remember, if you consume more protein, it's gonna transform to carbohydrates again, so that's why it's important to have the right amount, yeah? You wanna have, obviously, a high a hypercalorie diet, high protein diet, but um, don't go too crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then another, way okay to like set up this magic diet that's gonna save your life is um a tailor a ta tailor your diet and foods foods that you like okay that, oh, that can work for you Th you know things that you can enjoy um and then they're easy they're accessible for you see and and it can help you reach this uh, goal okay because again you want to look for that deficit caloric it's all about numbers guys and uh, most of the times it is true. It's all about numbers. Uh, yes, like sometimes if you like, I don't know, go to crazy and then just consume like processed food or like a low calorie diet based on McDonald's foods is not like the most like effective. It might be quite like horrendous because <clears throat> it will affect your hormones. You're going to feel like hungrier and, and you're going to lack of so many like macronutrients. Yeah. So balanced diet would be the best but fine there's so many veggies and stuff that you can you know try might be good for you <laughs> so now and um, the last one seeks seek for guidance or professional advice okay so like me or my mom again we work together and then then we can help you with this right and if not hey we're working on a cookbook that if you are like interested you should definitely buy it I'm gonna sell it for a very accessible price. I'm not sure like how much now, but um, even if my cookbook is not available now, hey, go and, like find recipes, start start exploring, look for like easy recipes who can like you know get you started, you know with a low calorie meal like 400 calories. And just an example, of, I don't really know what your maintenance could be right now, or whoever's watching this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so you st you started there. See, so start there and then see what works for you. Like you, whatever, skip. If, if fasting, again, I don't, uh, I do fasting sometimes, but it's just like, I'm not hungry in the morning. If you were like me, no hungry in the morning, and you're trying to lose weight, so amazing. It works for you. Like, you know, skip your breakfast and then eat later. See what meals, like, you know, fills you up. Again, there's another fact that I was like, um, looking in a research that, um, it's about the tasty and of the food. It's really good to eat tasty, but when something when losing weight, uh, it can be quite hard, okay? Uh, especially in how, depending on how to set up your diet. If you love veggies, it's not gonna be a problem for you because guys, there's so many veggies recipe out there. And if you are going from like obese to like, you know, a healthy body weight, it will be so easy to reach there. Like, trust me, I'd say, I say it's, it's not, again, it can be hard for everyone, but, it's gonna be a lot easier because you, you're not gonna be hungry. It will be everything psychological, like oh, so you have to like take those but have it apart, like your chocolates and stuff like that. But once you, if you just swap that for veggies, that's so easy. The problem starts with like you, if you wanna like get leaner than like for instance, I don't know your natural body fat. Like um, I'll tell you my personal experience for like for example. Uh, I can get to like 12% body fat, like I'm 12 right now, like six pack and everything, but to get leaner, to get leaner, wow, it's it's really hard. Like, uh, I mean, I do eat my veggies and everything, um, but if I wanted to get leaner, I have to like go through like a hungry state, like in a starvation mode, which again, it's not healthy, not healthy for everyone. So again, just in a soup, like how do you call it this like sub 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 something <laughs> like if we if i were gonna compete that's what i was gonna say if i were gonna compete at bodybuilding yeah that would have to 
you don't get that but I wouldn't do it for any reason because it's summer or whatever now okay um but just an example yeah and hopefully if you're watching this video you just want to get to a healthy body weight or you just want to drop a few kilos and then trust me it's easy when you set up your diet like this and in the same way these people advertise their diet like 30 day challenge whatever you can do the same but on your own diet on your own terms you know obviously meeting your numbers you don't get you don't have to be obsessive with numbers i don't count coloring uh numbers or whatever i know what i what i have to eat to get my body to a light body weight and you know just trying to have that good relationship guys don't don't fall for any any crazy diet they're not gonna work for you you want something sustainable something that you can you know you can say okay i want to get to 80 kilograms and you know what to eat you don't even have to like you know look for anything at the beginning like i said just seek for like professional advice and recipes try to change your habit and then be you know consistent if you feel frustrated you feel restricted that's when you fall into like this crazy you know challenges if you feel like that yeah even in your own diet then you have to change it. you have to change it okay to change it again till you can you know find something you know there's so many foods out there follow follow me on my tiktok channel i got so many recipes like like hundreds hundreds there like if you keep scrolling there'll be like so many recipes and try all of them it's like you know million cookies recipe like it's a low calorie variation so guys it's no excuses to get fit let's go out there send me a message i uh, got some lots available to work together um and then yeah see you soon